Hey folks, Quillikeen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 Mare Nostrum as Lubeck. I'm still on the pre-release build at the time of recording this. It's actually been a couple of days since the uh, last set of recordings went through because I was going into the weekend, that's live streaming time and all those things. So I just came back here, I'm like, yeah, what's going on in this game? Oh right, Denmark. Yes, that is a thing. Overall, the world is looking relatively normal-ish. I mean, Muscovy has expanded a little bit more um, into Sweden territory than it often does. I mean, it took in Novgorod and then a little bit more, which is actually it was a way to weaken Denmark, I think, in, in some of those exchanges. So that's one of the reasons that Sweden was able to declare independence over here. Uh, Lithuania is all derped up, though. That's the definite exception. Other than that, I mean, things are normal-ish. I mean, England has kept some of its territory in France and actually was able to solidify its holdings, but France is starting to blob up in sort of a normal-ish fashion. Portugal has expanded down here. I mean, I, uh, overall, it looks, you know, bigger Crimea. There's always something that's unusual, right? There's never a game where, like, yeah, all of this is 100% the average, um, but there's nothing completely crazy so far. But, I mean, Muscovy might snowball into Scandinavia. That would be weird. Lithuania, who the hell knows what's going to happen over there? It's going to be really curious. And Portugal does look like it's setting up to be a powerhouse. It'll be interesting to see. Um, Portugal has literally no allies and has rivaled Castile. Okay. All right, interesting things are going to happen over here. Very interesting thing. Castile is allied to France, which is generally pretty unhealthy. Um, huh. Yeah, it's quite, quite interesting. It'll be interesting to get, see who gets the upper hand in this uh, little exchange over here. Aragon also hates uh, Castile, so it wouldn't surprise me if Portugal and Aragon decide to make friends, although I guess Aragon's got a whole lot of allies already. Well, we'll keep an eye on things. Meanwhile, yes, Denmark. We are currently in war with them. We are in the war for Swedish independence. So Sweden declared independence, and we had guaranteed, or we had, yeah, tried to support their independence, so we're now there. Uh, battle is about to happen here in Jeland over here, uh, and I believe with a two maneuver, they will not get the river crossing penalty, and these are farmlands, so we're going to get no edge to um, our defense. And they have a better general, 2-4 is pretty damn good at this stage in the game, and there's really nothing we can do to improve those odds, so not really looking forward to this battle outcome, but it's hardly the end of the world. One of the things is we do want to... Um, we do want to make a separate piece with Denmark because we need to make sure we grab some stuff. And right now they're not interested, so we'll see how it goes. This battle will be quite important. Embargoes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how tech-wise, is there is there a thing? They're seven, we're seven. What are our ideas? Right, we went to administrative ideas, which, I don't know, I guess is fine, probably. I'm wondering if we should right away buy some extra mercs. We are 12 of 12. Where's the rest of our army? Actually, that's a... You're there. Oh, you're down there. Oh, yeah, we're going to finish the Siege of Stata. So, yeah, even if we lose this battle, I mean, we're going to get pushed back, but it's not going to be that bad. And actually, um, we still have a blockade. They can't follow us through to fine over here. So, no matter what, they're going to be pinned in in Jalen. So, we have a slight numbers advantage. Oh, they they did get the minus three. <gasps> Wait. Because their maneuver two general is in charge. Or something. All right, well, that makes a big difference, them getting a minus two. Huge difference. And is this us that have a shock five leader? Really? Oh, well, shit. Okay. <laughs> All right, maybe I was a little more concerned uh, than I needed to be. Although, I mean, it's not a clear-cut win, certainly, even with the minus two that clicked in. And the five shock. Whoo, good stuff. Now, what's this? War exhaustion is high. Um, Yeah, not yet. We're going to reduce that down. Am I going to follow this? I mean, it means lifting the siege over here, which sort of sucks. Have I already lifted it? No. If I leave you behind, and then I move, I wonder if that leaves me... Because I would like to chase this guy and just stack wipe him. We're going to see if that works. Oh, because of the fort. Okay. You know what? Just just come back over here. That's fine. Let's not worry about it. Someone else is going to clean that up. I thought they might have just been running to here. Okay. And we still have the siege. Excellent. Progress didn't really reset. Siege Stata is done. So we're going to go over there. Now, we can't... We are a lesser partner, so we can't negotiate peace with anyone else. Uh, but Norway... Or, sorry, Denmark here is probably quite eager to start piecing out. Um, us taking Stata would be nice in the long run. 
Wow, 51. Right, they're a lesser partner. Um, you're still not willing to give up much. So again, I want to separate piece out. Uh, we can detach some ships and send them here. Okay, Verdun's been pieced out. War reparations to Sweden. Some amount of money, of which I will get some. Okay. Kind of to be expected. We might be able to, with a little bit more blockade, help break their mood a bit. Oh, yeah, we get 100% there. Nice, actually. Very nice. I guess there's not a whole lot. There's Gotland over there we may want to blockade. Um, but I want to start my own blockades rather than help Sweden with theirs. I don't know if it makes a difference. I guess your enthusiasm is still medium. That is certainly making a difference. If we take your capital, that will be huge. Absolutely huge in breaking Denmark. But I, I'm really worried. I don't want to just take one province. I mean, just taking Holstein wouldn't be worth the, the separate piece. Oh, and they're not even willing to give one anymore. Oh, oh, because we lost our Siege of Stata. Ooh. All right. Well, then we definitely need to take the capital. Because, yeah, percentage-wise, we lost one of our sieges on one of the fortresses we had. So we definitely have to take the capital. Uh, right, Norway. We can go and hold some of them. Uh, we've got Lowland, recent uprisings, yada, yada, yada. Well, I can stay here for now. That's fine. Siege is going pretty well. And then, actually, as soon as that siege wins, we will be able to sink their navy, which we'd also like to do. I'm wondering if I should move more ships back in preparations for that. In particular, the galleys. Yeah, I'm going to move these galleys over there. I'll leave the rest of the sieges going. Um, these are mostly just light ships. I actually have quite a few galleys. Yeah, well, we'll be ready to reinforce. But I'll leave these blockades going on for now. Scotland's going to attack across the way. Which is fine, actually. Actually, it would be really nice if we had moved some people to start the Siege of Skana first. I gotta be careful here. I don't want to move my leader because that's the one with the Siege bonus. Alright, Scotland's moving. That's good. Because that will be our Siege. Uh, how many do we need here? Oh, we only need three. Cool. So split in half. Grab the half without the leader over there. That way it won't affect our Siege speed over here. All right, well, here's hoping. It's our personal war score. Still only 20%. They still have medium enthusiasm. Gelro might get separate pieced out here in a moment, which would be good because it would give her a high percentage. Oh, we didn't win the tick. I really feel as soon as the siege here drops, we should be able to negotiate a separate piece. Who am I sucking up to? Poland. Yeah, there we go. Completed mission. End the sound toll. Oh, that's all we had to do. Really? And then we have no mission. Don't we have to take Skana too? I'm confused, but alright. Uh, there's a battle going on right now, which might affect... Yeah, ongoing battle minus 19. So we have to let this battle finish before we can negotiate a peace. Because it's acting as a big modifier to the decision. There we go. So now there's no ongoing battle. They have low enthusiasm. No modifiers going on at all. So we're going to try to take as much land as we can in a separate piece here. It's basically only Holstein. I don't know. How close is that? Well, we only have 35% individual war score. Yeah, minus 97. Uh, potentially, we could wait for a longer war. Like, there might be things we can do here. I mean, we might want to take different territory, although taking the contiguous stuff seems to make the most amount of sense. I think now's the time to peace out. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this before Sweden pieces out. If I knew for sure, then maybe. But honestly, with the aggressive expansion... Yeah, that's not so bad, actually. We don't have to worry about coalitions, but it opens up some things. We can just rewar them later. Now that they won't have Sweden, Sweden's going to win their independence, we can just declare another war again in a little while. Uh, I don't suppose we can get war reparations. No, that seems unlikely. Oh, we can. Really? And a little bit of bucks. Hang on. Hang on. You'd give me this? Because I would like to settle North America. Now, this is not in our trade node that's important. And again, we apparently, we don't know, but apparently there is a 20 province limit on a merchant republic uh, before we start to lose merchant to tradition. I would like to settle North America. Um, 
because it would be quite cool. And if we have a colonial nation over there, that won't count across against our Republican tradition. Hum. Oh, you would give me f you would give me lowland. Yeah, but we don't connect to it. So it'd be isolated. We do have I don't know, we could have some transports, I suppose. Uh, Bornholm's really a weak sauce province. It's only, th I think, three developments, so it's not worth negotiating for. And I guess that comes down to a lot of these, is, is it worth negotiating for a really, really weak sauce province? It's not contiguous here, but it might be a good idea to grab this for now. While we have an opportunity to take a little bit more territory. How does that do for aggressive expansion? Completely manageable. Could create a coalition, but it wouldn't be a very big one. And, um... It wouldn't take that long for Brandenburg to take out of that range, which wouldn't be too bad. All right, I think that's what we're going to do. Bit awkward with Lowland here, but we're going to take that. So Sweden will be a little upset that we did negotiate a separate piece, but not enough to bother them. Oh, we got a mission right away. Uh, Naval race versus Teutonic order should be the easiest. Manpower 90%. Right, because we have no manpower. Um, what's the reward for this? Morella navies, national sailors. Uh, the yearly tradition is nice, but it's not a whole lot of it. So I'll take the manpower recovery one. It's less likely to, that we'll actually do it, but we'll see what we can. Um, start coring all the things. And Lowland over here. Uh, just because it would be a pain to station this, we're going to go and give them more autonomy. To try to bring down their unrest a little bit. I know it's usually not a great thing. What's the development here? It's only six developments, so it's not like we're not getting that much from that province at this time anyway. So it's hardly the end of the world. So we're going to pull back that way. We've hurt Denmark, which is great for us, especially since our plan is to continue to expand into Denmark. And everyone's coming home. Yes, indeed. Wonderful. Do we have any mercs right now? No, we don't. We did all that without mercenaries. Very nice. Anhalt left the trade league uh, because they don't like us enough. Oh, and they are allied to Brandenburg. Yeah, all right, I get that. What do we want to do with our extra diplomat? Maybe I'll just go and actually suck up to one of these guys again. Just random target. Just to make friends some more. It can come in handy later on. Sounds pretty good to me. I'm going to drop my army maintenance for now. We do need to reinforce, but we don't have any manpower right now, so we may as well just drop it down. Get all our ships together. So, yeah, we have no cogs, so dealing with this would be a little bit annoying. So the extra... Um, uh, the extra autonomy to lower the independence here... Uh, the lore of the unrest here is actually quite nice. And of course, once we stop being overextended, that will bring down our national unrest. So then we should be hunky-dory. You protect Lubeck. And if this starts to tick up too much, I mean, these must all be Danish separatists. Uh, yeah, Danish separatists. We might go and spend one tick of military power to keep them under our thumb. Uh, just delay the um, the unrest long enough to to finish coring everything and to bring down our national unrest a little bit and hopefully bring the unrest percentage in this province down to zero, which means if any rebellions pop, they're going to pop over here. Okay. I'm happy. We've got plus three stability, which is really amazing. I mean, it does help that when we lose a ruler, we do not lose stability. Um, and of course, I'm going to go and I'm going to be re-electing my, my ruler from now on. Um, well, I might wait until we start at over 90 Republican tradition before I do it. But I am going to be picking all the decisions to avoid losing any Republican tradition in the future. And actually, if we can get a couple that increases our Republican tradition, that would also be nice. I guess I can mothball the galleys. Don't need them right now. Uh, recall our diplomat with Poland. Now, relationship-wise, we are sitting at an alliance with Sweden, Bremen, and Saxony. Very good. Bremen's pretty weak sauce. And one of our... One of the members in our... Where are you? Right over here. Trade League. So I'm wondering if I should just break the alliance. It will, of course, upset them. Quite a bit, actually, because we get plus 50 from the alliance. That will go away and actually be released, replaced by a negative one. I think what we're going to do is wait until um, some of the lawful territory and HRE and aggressive expansion, some of those modifiers going away. And in fact, we have no improved relations with them. So let's improve relations, get them nice and high, then we can break that alliance because we don't need it. We have a defensive alliance by virtue of being in the trade league. And then what we'll probably do is ally Poland, assuming they're not getting into too much trouble. We'll take a look at their military at that point. So Sweden's going to go and um, fight Denmark. Now, they might take some territory that we actually want to have at some point in the future. Um, but that's okay. They're unlikely to actually take the capital, which is the one we're most interested in because it is the sound toll modifier over here. That would be particularly good. 
and uh, -da 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 -da. we don't actually have a decision for that. Yeah, I forgot that the mission it doesn't require that you actually own the territory to get the bonus. You just have to take it once. So where is it? Isn't it a country modifier? I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, focus on admin. Is that still what we want? Yeah, we can get another idea group. Oh, right. And we fin we just finished our administrative ideas group, so we get some discounts there too, which will be nice. An election. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reelect you. We're not that low. We've got lots of tradition or stability, which is one of the things that you lose if you don't have the Republican tradition. So I'm going to start reelecting you, guy. And we'll try to improve our pace of getting more stuff. Because we're pretty high. Talking about waiting till we're at 90, but you know what? I want to start accumulating more points. Uh, Gelra joined the Trade League led by Venice. It's a bit annoying, actually. And technology, I don't think there's any reason to wait. We're going to go and grab that now. Holstein has been cored. Now, that probably is a territory right now. Traveling minstrel gains prestige, actually. That's not bad. I don't care about the artist, but the prestige is nice. States and territories. So, Jutland. Oh, Holstein is in the state of Holstein, which is already one of our states. Whereas this is a territory. And territory of Denmark. I may not state these two yet. Because they're still small with a lot of autonomy. So I don't know if I have to spend the money to maintain these two states at this time. Obviously as we take more territory that will change. But for now we're okay. Now it would not surprise me if we ended up going to battle against Sweden at some point. Which might mean... What if we... Allied Muscovy. Who... Right now they hate Denmark. I wonder if that might change to Sweden. Claims, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to become the defender. Uh, naval morale, colonial range. Okay, well, it's not an important level, but still good to get up there. Uh, yes, we can recall that diplomat. Yeah, I mean, the earlier we ally with Muscovy, that is nice. And they are Lithuania. So, you know, there could be conflict between Lithuania and Muscovy, but Lithuania is broken. And any war I might get called into is probably a war I will feel very safe about accepting. I think I like it. I realize it's going to put us up over a relationship cap, but I'm going to be fine with this. And it gives us a potential trump card against Sweden here. We'll grab the administrative level. Get a new idea group. Um, we are currently... Well, I think it's time for us to get the trade ideas. We need, we know we want them. It's a no-brainer. We could get military ideas at this point. Um, we are ahead on military, and we're not on diplo. Now we just pop this, and so it's going to be we're eight years ahead. It's going to take us a while. I don't think we're going to overkill our military. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get trade ideas because we know it's critical for us, so we're going to grab that. It's not going to be a mistake. Again, there might be a mistake about order or whatever. You know, maybe we should grab you know, this before that or something of that nature, but right now we're okay. There's not that many military threats. Brandenburg has been dramatically cut down to size, which is nice. Poland could theoretically be a troublemaker. Whoa! These are all separatists. Lithuania is about to collapse completely. It's very interesting, actually. Now, we've got all the territory here. We still would like Neumark and Berlin. Now, have I adjusted my desired territory? Uh, Neumark and Berlin. But not Sternberg. Or, sorry. Yes, Sternberg. Ah, but! These are all inland. They are all in my trade node, but I don't want inland provinces. That's right. I don't care about that. I care about all this stuff. Um, I may Maybe I don't need Skana. If I do that, it can reduce, re reduce some of the tension with um, with Sweden. What does Sweden want? Okay, they've listed that. So tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove this from my list of um, territory I desire. Apparently, I mean, unless there's a, an event that triggers, but we don't have a decision, and we currently don't have a mission for it. So we're going to see if we can reduce tension over this province with Sweden. But we want this territory. In particular, I mean, that Soul Town modifier is great. We got some cores. Excellent. We have a lot of money. Can we... Building? Can we building? 
Uh, shipyards. We want shipyards everywhere. Yeah. We made a pretty decent discount to our build cost, too, if I recall. I don't know, actually. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's refund all this money, please. I think it refunds all of it. Um, do I want to boost? Yeah, it's only 10 power. Let's do that. There you go. 10% more discount to our build cost. We had some because of the HRE modifier. But now we have even more build cost discount. And we know we need as much naval force limit as possible. There we go. 86. I think I'll queue it up everywhere. Oh, I'm broke. Let's say, I think I'll queue it up everywhere um, while we have all the discounts operating. Because it's not necessarily always going to be there. And I know we want the extra naval force limit. I mean, we want lots of things. But the naval force limit, yeah, for sure. Because this is going to, like, double the size of our navy when they all finish. Oh, disputes affect government. Lose 50 diplo or admin power for no good reason. Boo, hiss. That is, come along there. Um, I think I will probably focus on diplo. And I will, actually. We're not going to need that much admin. I mean, we're not ahead on admin yet, but it's not that far away. We can get more states. Who cares? Um, so I'm going to shift the focus over here because we do have the diplomatic ideas. And right now, we actually are overextended. Once I get um, Bremen to like me a little bit more... Actually, they're already very much... Wow, we've improved relations a lot more than expected. I guess we're running at speed four. Uh, I think I can probably drop the alliance at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, they still like me plus 50 right now. So they should stay there, which is good. And now we are back to three of three. Allied with Sweden, Muscovy, Saxony. Three quite powerful people, actually. If we can generate some more favor with them, it would be nice. How's our improved relations? Pretty good. I think I'll just, I may as well send a diplomat over there to suck up. I don't have to do any espionage stuff right now. Very good. I think uh, these guys are getting partially blockaded. It's really interesting how it changes color here as things get blockaded. I assume, yeah. Sweden is still easily winning the war. It would not surprise me if they took the territory down here. And I think that's fine with me. It is in my trade node, but they're not the important things. And I just, I can't take every province in my trade node anyway. Just not going to be an option if I'm limited to 20. Uh, I am going to bank a little bit more money now. Uh, I guess I can build, hold on. I can build one more shipyard. Although, I'm building all these shipyards when I could save money for the ships. But I'm building them while I have the discount. That's right. No, no. I, need, I know I need all the shipyards. Right now, I've got a discount. It does suck to go all the way down in money, although our monthly income is pretty good. Let me boost up my um, army maintenance a bit just to get the reinforcements down. Take two months to be fully reinforced. Uh, we lost some sailors, but we have lots of sailors. Alliance breaking with Sweden. How come, Sweden? Okay, you ended your war. But why do you want to break our alliance? Allied to rival. Who's your rival? Muscovy. Okay. Well, that doesn't surprise me too much. Honest merchants. Hey, excellent. So it doesn't surprise me that they're um, opponents. And I'd rather... I assume Sweden... I mean, it might be nice in the short term to use them as a, a stick against Denmark again. But uh, I think long term, Denmark is, is gone. Denmark is not going to be a thing. And Sweden, in fact, will be the dangerous one. So me being allied with Muscovy against Sweden is probably going to bit put me in like a more secure position in the long term. We'll see. Maybe we can get Denmark to just be on like Gotland or something like that. That'd be pretty funny. So are we going to ally Poland? Well, right now they won't. How come? I already have a powerful ally in Muscovy. Eh. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Two shipyards. Dun, 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 dun. Sweden broke their alliance, indeed. And, oh, they're neutral towards me. Yeah, well, we'll send someone over there to give you some love, and we'll see how it goes. Recall. Excellent. I mean, we already improved relations a fair bit. Let me see about capping that out and see if that makes a difference. I'm not sure that it will. Dun, dun, dun. Have we reinforced? We have reinforced, so now we can drop this down again. We're making pretty good money. Let's take a look at the ledger, actually. Country. Uh, by... Raw income, so this is uh, gross income, not net. We are down here, so we are, what is that, about 10th or something, just eyeballing it in terms of gross income. Although, everyone is really close until you get to the Ottomans, France is a little bit more. But our actual, like, our costs are quite a bit lower. And our income's going to start to go up here, 
as we build more trade ships. I'm going to accumulate a little bit of money before I start spamming that out, but... Oh, our army force limit went up as well. Of course it did. That makes a lot of sense. And our naval force limit. How is our army composition? Um, I'm going to build two more cannons. Oops, we don't have the money for that. Yeah, and maybe I do want to save up for a rainy day. Uh, two more cannons would bring us up to four, which would allow us, assuming there's a siege or a fort of level two, it will give us an extra plus one to the siege bonus, or a total of plus two from our artillery, which will be nice. We're not really in the age of cannons yet. Um, but we're still thinking that most of our frontline troops in going forward are going to be mercenaries. That's what we're positioning ourselves to do. We make money. We've got all the discount, discounted mercs. So more and more and more, I'm going to make use of mercenary, uh, infantry. And so I think the idea of us owning cannons, even though cannons aren't that powerful right now, might be good in particular, just for our ability to, you know, siege things. Guilds push, push for mercantilist reforms. Right. So... I think, I mean, I mean, you know, I always said, you know, I like mercantilism. Now, do I like it for 100 points? Maybe not. It is nice that we have the option. For right now, I'm not comfortable doing it. Uh, I like this option, which gives this local power. In particular, this one put the, tr the traders back in charge of our factions, which is good. We wanted the guilds while we were building a bunch of those buildings. But generally speaking, I'm going to be much happier with the traders in charge. We do get less national tax, but that's okay. The trade is where we make most of our money, and that's just going to become more and more true as we build up our navy. So, we'll just about go back to speed 4 for now. Yeah, it's too bad that they're neutral. A little aggressive expansion, a little border friction. They don't actually desire anything. Mm-hmm. Because I'm actually surprised about that, that they don't desire any of my stuff. And Muscovy is powerful. I mean, I could ally someone else. Bohemia is not particularly keen on me. Could do Austria. That's less relevant for a lot of things within the HRE. Um, but it might not be a bad idea to have them on our side for other things. I, I don't know. We can't really use them aggressively, so it's kind of moot. What about Cologne? Yeah, we might be okay. People are getting over things. At the very least, I should suck up to them. How does Brunswick feel? I can't remember. Okay, actually, they're actually okay with me right now. And the aggressive expansion. If anyone's going to be sensitive about aggressive expansion, it's going to be someone near me like Brunswick. So let's go and just keep improving relations there for now. They're only at minus 49, so they can't coalition me. But still, let's keep an eye on that. Noble Legacy of Kohlberg. Uh, oh yes, we can get a claim on Neumark for the Teutonic Order, but claims are pretty easy to come by these days. And the traders would lose influence. This is much better. More trade power, more trader influence, and Teutonic Order would like me a bit. Now, they mostly hate me. Hostile relations. We, we're not actually rivals. Oh, wait. I have rivaled them. Never mind. Anyway, I'm still happy about the trade power. All right. Manpower is going up. We do have to hit 90% to finish that quest, which may or may not happen. Our total maximum manpower has gone up a fair bit since uh, we started. And even recently, we had when we took in Pomerania, our max manpower wasn't that high. But things are getting a fair bit better. Okay, so I'm going to try to bring our treasury up to about, you know, I don't know, leave at least 100 in the bank, and then, you know, above that, build stuff. Um, mostly some extra ships, the extra cannons. I can probably hold off on the cannons for a little bit longer, especially since I do need the manpower to go up. So I should probably focus on the ships. So basically, every time I get, like, to 120, I can get an extra bark. Because I like the idea of keeping, um, 100 in the bank for events, and also that can get you a handful of mercenaries. Actually, what's our cost right now? Longbow mercs are only 11 gold, barely more than our base land units. I mean, the maintenance will be higher, because... Yeah, literally twice as much maintenance, but the purchase about the same, and of course doesn't come out of our manpower pool, which is brilliant. We're going to have a lot of fun with that later on. But for now, we're going to put a cut in this video. Um, I think I'm happy with how we dealt with Denmark. I'm not sure exactly how the political situation is going to shape up over here. And I do want to continue to do that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god, and Castile. That is a big navy. I don't know how that compares. The fact that some French troops did land in England makes me think England is going to get beat up a bit. I suspect no one's going to take any territory from England itself, but yeah. I with Sweden, Desmond, France. Fascinating. Things still look okay. I would still really like to do some North American colonization, but that is a longer-term goal. It's so far away, we're going to need a decent amount of um, diplomatic tech before we can reach. We simply won't have the range as is. 
Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.